Oh, that you, looks you know, lovely. Kate, be fair. Mm. We we mock our technicians, but be honest. Well, you uh, we've mock had, them. <laughs> no, no ooh, it was your <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> it was their idea actually. But still, uh, no. To be fair, we um, we appreciate what they do, and obviously the viewers do. Because um, we've inundated with with emails and all that stuff saying what fantastic work the cameramen do. And I am serious here. And. We'd like to thank them. They're all blushing a little at the moment. They are, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Mind you, let's test, them. let's test them. Let's test them. Shall we test them? Well, so as good I as think, think if, they are. if, uh, if you were watching a couple of days ago and you met our goldfinch for the first time, you may remember that uh, Dave, our jib operating cameraman, uh, did get quite a good shot. Um, but we are going to test him this evening. We're looking luck. at Dave now. I think it was luck, and Dave, Dave. We'd like you to see if you can find the goldfinch. Come from us and swing all the way around. Go on, Give off yourself. you go. Don't be tentative. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, be careful. Now, um, just so that you're thinking, hang on a second, can you do this to a goldfinch? This is a long lens, so he's not going to yeah. crash into her nest. Whoops. In fact, you may not find it at oh, all. Oh, that's Let's rather photogenic. Look. Look, oh, look at that. It's that. getting it's nice beautiful. sunbeams or evening sunbeams. Go on, Dave. Can we find it? Oh, there's the camera. There's and, the camera. Oh. And there it is. Oh, oh brilliant. Yes, let's brilliant. hear it today. Okay, yes. Shot and, of the series for Dave. And look, she's so calm. She appreciates oh, she that. Oh, she does nice completely. She's absolutely not disturbed by that camera whatsoever. That is a one beautiful we, picture, we were thrilled it? to get the goldfinches because we hear them and the cow in the background just mooing its approval there um you know we mm. see goldfinches we hear goldfinches actually more than anything a little tinkly call over the farm mm. and we always wondered where did they nest and we were as surprised as anybody when uh, i think we have to give them credit for that i think I we think actually we found do. the nest i think we, we do oh, yeah. yes. yes oh dear they will get up at tea. um but things have been happening Right up to the last minute, because we couldn't really see in the nest until they got right above it there. And we only thought there were three youngsters, didn't we? Yes, yeah, we did. And but... um, as you'll see from this film, she has been oh. sitting on the nest, but this is the male coming in, who we haven't actually seen very much, but he's been incredibly attentive to her. Yeah. She seems to be staying on the chicks and brooding them almost constantly, but he's coming in and feeding her, so keeping her healthy It's really well. interesting, though, because she's trembling her wings, almost like a baby, to get yeah. in to stimulate feeding her and then she passes it on to the babies and there are in fact five I've of them there. There little punks absolutely fantastic little hairdos there yeah. <laughs> so we're thrilled to pieces of those they really, really are. are let's go back to the look at her i mean that is just a real treat. Yeah. By the way, I don't know whether we mentioned this the other day. You know, you forget, don't you? When you've done three weeks, <laughs> you forget what you've told people. Uh, but uh, the, that sort of pointy beak, it's a very odd shaped beak if you look at that, you know, because it's, it's a seed eating beak, it's a finch. And most finches have little nubby beaks like sparrows and that, because they're the same sort of family, seed eaters. But the reason that beak is so pointy shows your beak. Oi, come on. <laughs> she's not come cooperating on. now. She's there she is. <laughs> there it is. Be. And a little snuffle. Um, is because they feed on prickly stuff, particularly thistles. You know, if you're looking for goldfinches in the autumn and the youngsters, which don't have the red faces, they'll be on the thistles. That's where to look from. So and the long beak protects her face. Absolutely. Presumably. You try sticking your nose in a thistle and, and you wish, wish it was a lot longer. <laughs> 